Yo, ha ha, Bill Pepper said. YouTube, what is good? It's your boy Mel Nipperson coming back with actually a sneaker pickup. Now, see, here's the thing. I'm, I'm going to get straight to it. The Carmines, I knew they were going to sell out. That shoe is an instant classic for anybody doubting or wondering, should I get the shoe or not? That's a 30-year anniversary of an iconic shoe. Why? Well, the Carmines, they released, sorry, Jordan came out with the Carmines when he played my Sixers who played at night um, the year after he won a championship and of course on feet you'll see this later on I'm actually wearing a bread sixes because that's when Jordan beat the Lakers to win his first NBA championship dope right so the car boss that's also a shoe that's featured in the famous commercial like Mike remember the like Mike commercial if I could be like Mike the Gatorade commercial uh, Macaulay Culkin from um, Home Alone um, wore those shoes i mean it was a popular shoe so to come out with the shoe with the nike air on the back since 1991 that's iconic i mean it's no different from the the fire at fours the uh fire at fives things like that with the nike air on the back that is everything even on the breads sixes that i'm wearing right now nike airs on the back and as, as well as the bread fours so there's a lot of history of course the shoe is modeled after well taker hatfield modeled it after um Jordan's like for sports cars. So if you look on the heel portion, that's why you see the spoiler on the back of the shoe. It's dope, huh? <laughs> so with that said and done, we actually are going to go pick up my shoes because I woke up, you can see I woke up like around 10, 20 or 10, 30, whatever. And as expected, it was sold out. Now, I don't want everybody to panic because there was a lot of shoes that were sent back to Nike by the stores there's a lot of shoes that you know actually there's a lot of stores or some stores that probably didn't even get their pairs yet because of shipment delays so there's a lot involved i know about the bleeding um, i heard about the flex app for you guys and I, I do apologize um and then also i heard about the um i think it was canceled raffles if i'm not mistaken so that means that hopefully the the, sh the stores that got that canceled their raffles hopefully they'll redo it what i think is going to happen though any defective Jordan 6 that got sent back from the stores eventually will see outlets at a lower price. So if you don't mind the bleeding, cool. And also, I see people asking about the, the if it's red or not, or it's a carmine. Carmine literally means purplish red. So <laughs> it's going back to the original colorway that released 1991 so it's not a university red that i know a lot of a lot of people like but that's what the definition of a carmine is in terms of the shoe release purplish red so it's a purplish red combination on the shoe leather upper um of course it does feature the air bubble on the uh the midsole if i'm not mistaken uh to me may or may not be the most comfortable jordan 6 or jordan retro because of the um i want to say it's like a cardboard plate <laughs> at the bottom uh, but it does have that uh, insert that's supposed to make the shoe feel a little bit more comfortable. Me personally, I, I'm wearing a Jordan 6 Brez right now. And I took the insert, the original insert out and put the um, the Jordan 1 New York to Paris insert inside that had that little, um, I want to say it's like, a, um, it's like a pod, like an air pod at the back of the heel when you take it out it's on the bottom. And it makes the shoe right now feel a little bit more comfortable than the original insert. So just drop a little knowledge here for you guys without seeing the shoe because I feel like this will be a, a quick pickup. Everybody's done seen the, the Jordan 6 Carmine reviews, but I wanted to get my insight or my perspective on the shoe before I actually go pick it up. And as I mentioned before, as I mentioned before, um, champs, the champs where I, I'm at, at my location, I know that they're, they're good, they're good people. So hopefully I don't get one of those bleeding pairs. <laughs> and let me make sure I didn't forget anything about the Jordan 6 because again this this is an instant classic the Carmine's is a classic you didn't pick this up man I don't know what to tell you but I, I kind of figured that this was going to sell out and I think part of the reason why it was going to sell out is because a lot again a lot of stores may have not gotten their pairs so the original pairs in terms of total number available may have, may have been lessened due to the defects 
So it's not like it was widely available as originally stated in the beginning. People were saying anywhere from like 100,000 whatever pairs, but that probably reduced due to the, due to the defects. So your boy gonna have said, let's go hopefully pick up these car mines. This is the first time I'm actually picking it up at this champs since the move. But this is not the first time I've been at this champs, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah. so hopefully that was a little lesson there. And actually you probably saw some, some clips and pictures and stuff like that as I was talking. Cause I'm trying to, you know, put things in perspective, you know, rather than just say, hey, this is a shoe. It's red, purple, reddish, has leather uppers and you know, also, a little fun fact, Jordan wore those car mines against my Sixers when he beat us the following year. He, he The first game of the following year, him winning the championship, he only wore it for the first half. And that's probably all he took or all he needed in order to beat my Sixers because, um, yeah. So, your boy, Maleficent, let's go pick these shoes up and find out if I got a defect or a non-defect. Let's go. YouTube so it looks like everything did check out I went to go pick up uh, the Jordan 6 car mines now the thing I like about this champs at least where I'm at they're real professional uh, a lot of good people there so that's why I said like a while back that I felt like the relationship between me and champs were good you know at any given time that I'm able to hit like I'm not gonna hit every single time but like on shoe releases like this where I know it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get based off the circumstances in terms of the defects and whatnot. Um, I feel like that, you know, you're going to be able to get what you get. And fortunately, I was able to get my car mines. Now, here's the thing. I go to the store and my bread sixes and everybody's looking like, what the? Like, how you keep your bread sixes so clean? I take care of my shoes. I take care of my shoes. Let me put this down right here. And you can see car mine sixes on deck. Now, there's no bleeding in mind. And, and like I said, there's some good people that's working at Champs because the guy said, I literally checked every single inventory to make sure there were no defects. And if there were defects, I ended up going back. So your boy, Milton Nipissant, I know I'm gonna have some people coming around looking to see who the heck I am. And I see some, some eyes looking right now. <laughs> so they don't know who I am, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I grabbed the attention. Some people, you know, like I said, I came in with the bread sixes. Everybody's wondering like, what the heck's going on? Who is this guy? buying up the car mines, buying up all these clothes and things and whatnot. But, you know, it, it is good, man. Like, I, I really like it here. Um, uh, I'm just so blessed right now, man. I feel like I'm so blessed. Uh, but, yeah, look, look, take a look at these joints, bro. They are dope. Yes. So, car mine, as a friendly reminder, is purplish red. You're not going to see this in a university red. So, I'm just letting everybody know. Of course, you got the icy bottoms. Um, it really doesn't have like like the herringbone traction, like so it doesn't have like um, like a good grip, in my opinion, for playing basketball on the courts. But I mean, look, all the stuff that Jordan had to go through, um, the materials he had to play through, especially the Jordan One. My man was playing in New York, and Jordan Ones with bloody feet after the game <laughs> because we we know that you know like the the technology that we have today and these sneakers they they, they didn't exist back then, so. I mean, you got to give Jordan some credit, too. So, your boy, Mel Nipissant, man, finally. Oh, and one, one other thing before I go. You see the lace lock at the top? Jordan moved the lace lock to the bottom of the shoe towards the uh, the toe box, which is crazy. Like, <laughs> we're so accustomed to seeing the, 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 the lace lock at the top towards the upper of the tongue. But, yeah, he would move it down to the bottom. Just a little, little side note. But your boy, Mel Nipissant, I am out. It is Saturday. It's been good hanging with you guys. I get back home. Got some Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm saying? About to get down. About to get down. Your boy Milton Nevison, I am out. Till the next time. And trust me, there will be plenty more from the Milton Nevison Man Cave. But this was kind of like the mall vlog, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> and we're out. All right, so we are back in the Milton Nevison Cave. Now, I'd be crazy if I did this video and didn't do it on feet. That that would just it wouldn't do this this video justice. And again, 
shout out to the one and only Champs. Now, Champs, I, I feel like that relationship, as I said before, it's only going to get better. So hopefully uh, everything will go right in the future. So when releases like these happen, I'm able to get my shoes. You can see I got the bread sixes right here. <clears throat> I'm not even going to do a comparison because honestly, I feel like a lot of people are going to like the bread sixes just because of the colorway and understand that. Jordan won his first championship, yada, yada, yada. I understand that. But from a meaningful perspective for, for real sneakerheads, not to say like I'm the realest, but the Carmines is just as meaningful as the breads, right? So you figure one shoe Jordan wore, which was this. This is where he won an NBA championship. The bread sixes against the Lakers, his first one. And the next year, he follows up with the Carmines. Now, let me pull mine out. Again, shout out to champs. I can't say that enough because I took an L because I literally woke up. I'm guessing this is a receipt. I literally woke up 10, 20, 10, 30 because I was working late. So <clears throat> let's just get this bad boy open so you guys can take a look. I'm telling you, man, like you, you can't go wrong with these shoes. You cannot go wrong with these. I like the Carmines. Um, I don't think that this is, this one featured the Reflective 3M. I could be wrong, but I believe the Reflective 3M was on here on the side panels, but it wasn't on here, if I'm not mistaken. It's just not a problem. It's not a problem. So, put this right here. You can see right here, in terms of comparison, I don't think there is a comparison, guys. I really don't. But the Carmine's, like I said, you're going to see a purplish red. Purplish red. Here's red. Here's purplish red. And because it's a Carmine. That's the definition of a Carmine. So, let me put this right here. Let me get the other pair. Make sure there's no bleeding on there. Uh, I got. I did check the one pair. I didn't check the other because I had to leave and get some food for the kids and whatnot. So that's all good. But yeah, uh, my man's at the um, the associate at the uh, champs basically said that they checked every pair to make sure everything was legit and thorough. <clears throat> so they sent. Um, there was a couple of stores that did send their pairs back to Nike. Like like I said, I think that what's going to happen is you're going to see these shoes, the defective pairs, in outlets. That's just my opinion. You're definitely going to see it. It's going to be at a lower price. And they're going to treat those pairs similar to what they did with the Carmelos, the 13s, with the excessive bleeding on the, the midsole. Some people actually may not bother them. It actually may, it may, maybe, maybe even cool just because, you know, it's still a carmine. And you're, get, you're going to get it at a fraction of the price, possibly in outlets. Again, that's just me speculating. Take it with a grain of salt. But your boy, Magnificent, man, these things are so fly, man. The carmines. The Carmine. I mean, with the Nike, Nike Air in the back. <laughs> oh man, this is a instant classic. Glad to have these, and I can see what they were talking about in terms of the leather, right? So it's like you got like a soft leather where the Carmine colorway is, but on the outer portion, well, it is the outer portion, but on the the white portion, it's like a hardened white leather. If that makes sense. So you got soft hair, soft hair, hard hair. Pause. <laughs> Your boy Milton said. Now let's do that on feet. Jordan 6 Carmines are in the Milton Emerson Man Cave. Let's get it done. Fight. 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 Fight.